Hi, I'm Nicole, the Tinkering Specialist at Science World. Tinkering is one of my favorite ways to learn because it's playful and a challenge, and I get to choose what paths to explore in an activity. I love asking questions about everything that I observe in the world around me, and I love to know how and why things work the way they do. When I'm tinkering, I get to choose what variables I'm investigating, and I let my failures inform my next course of action. To do this, I follow something called the design cycle. When I'm following the design cycle while tinkering, I'm constantly questioning, imagining, creating, and testing with the task at hand. Why don't you tinker along with me and let's go through the steps of the design cycle together in this activity. We start the design cycle with a question. How do I get my passenger from the top of my zip line to the bottom safely? This can be done with any manner of materials that you find around the house. I recommend tinkering with things like paper, pipe cleaners, popsicle sticks, elastics, paper clips, straws, anything that you can really find around your house. And you can use different types of materials to set up your zip line. So I've just got some string here, but you can do anything from thread, yarn, fishing line, even your skipping rope, whatever you have on hand. I need somewhere for my passenger to sit, so I'm gonna use my paper to create a cone shape here. And I'm gonna tape that down. All right, and next I need a way to attach my gondola to the zip line. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my pipe cleaners to do this. Now this is just one example. This is my first prototype, but as I test it out, I will hopefully come up with some new designs and questions to answer along the way. All right, we've got our first prototype. Let's go test it out. Let's test out our first design. It's not going anywhere. I guess my next question is gonna be, how can I create a handle that will slide down my zip line? So how does yours work? You can use the results of your first test to come up with a new question and repeat the process again. As you continue to tinker with the materials on hand, you'll start to learn about some of their properties, how they interact with each other, and even start to see some forces at work like gravity and friction. Now, the great thing about tinkering is that you get to choose where you go next. But if you need a little push, here are a couple questions you might want to consider. What is a successful zip line? And how does that change the way you design your gondola? Will it be different if you're designing a gondola to go fast versus slow? What about carry a lot of weight versus a little bit? And how does the setup of your zip line affect your gondola design? What happens when it's really steep, you use different materials or you place it somewhere else in your house? There are tons of different questions out there for you to investigate further, but it's up to you because tinkering, you get to choose that next path. We would love for you to share your tinkering process and your work with us. So please take a picture and a video, share it on social media, and hashtag girls and steam. Happy tinkering.